Because this frustrates. There's no best. Who was the best speaker? Who cares? Everyone said very good things and very important things. And that's real. All right. Um, blah, 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 blah. I already said that. Oh, and this. This is what becomes. They have very low tolerance of failure. I have, I have had students in university um, that fail a test and pff, melt down. And I think, what, why? One test. It's nothing compared to life. Well, they're not tolerant to failure because we made them not tolerant to failure. They need to get their medal. Um, da -da -da. Integral, um, and integral development. Um, this is very much what Salian. What we do is we find our students and then we see that this student is very good at nature, but not very good at math. And uh, the integral development, or that's how we call it, I don't know if I translated it correctly, is we find that kid very good at nature and we're trying to explain math, true nature, to tell them, well, you're not good at nature, but you're very good at that and you'll be able to grow upon that. Yeah. Okay, well parent. For efficient and hardworking parents, come lazy kids, this is a, this is a, dicho? How do you say dicho? Saying, thank you. Yeah, this is a saying in Mexico. Um, and it's usually true. If the sons of the very outgoing ladies that will come and tell me why I should give their kids an A, oh, those kids are not doing anything. It's very important, as mothers and as fathers, that we keep our personalities down so that our kids can grow. It's much easier to do than to make them do. There's no conflict there, but there's no education either. With Will, you give them perseverance and the ability to make dreams come true. And this, I think, is something that every single parent wants. Will is the ability to take from dream to reality. The virtues of strength from Will are discipline. I think right now our kids have lots of rights and not so many obligations. They have every single thing available on the market. The phone, the iPhone, the, the iPod, the whatever thing comes out, they have it but not necessarily comes with an obligation. Um, patience, this is very important. The gift of waiting and desiring, as I was telling you, is something that I have found that our kids don't have. They want immediate uh, results, and if not, they're not content. They don't have time. And you, you and I know, time and patience, well, it's part of life. All right, sincerity, work, and perseverance. Oh, this I'm going to uh, refer to, to the five minutes. No, then I don't want to refer to anything. All right, uh, perception of risk. And this is the data, and it's very important because usually it's, it's double. I'm just going to tell you, most of it is double. So the perception of risk, it is very important that we tell our youth that it is very important risky to use marijuana. That is not true that actors and artists are able to use it and then go back to a normal life. It's not. Parental disapproval, it's very important. What we think does a lot on our kids' brain. And sometimes we think they don't hear us, but they do. Look at the data. Okay, parental attention, this. My grandma used to say, you have to be there when the kids are back from school to check the polls. And I think that is very important. It is very important for us to be able to know what they're thinking, if they came in crying, if they came in walking. All right, and then the age of first use, I think that was very important for me because most parents in Mexico, they say, well, they start drugs when they're out of our reach. No, they start drugs when they're in our reach. They're economically depending on us. All right, parent example, this is this is huge. Uh, the example leaves more lasting impression that the, on the heart than the words do on the mind. And this says it all. All right, mm, religion and activities. And I'm so proud about what the Gulen Institute is doing here. It, it is very widely known that religion and sports and every intercultural activity that you can do with youth will keep them out of, of every abuse. All right, and then, okay, 
Uh, well, this I wanted to tell you. I think um, we have to keep our kids' faith. We have to tell them, well, this situation is bad. Two minutes? One minute? Okay. Um, this situation is bad, but it's not that bad. Um, I was... Uh, Every, I was going to say, every time I get pregnant, no, well, every time I've been pregnant, my students, they tell me, pregnant again? At this time? Why do you want to bring kids to this world? I'm thinking, what? Because we've advanced so much in science. We've advanced so much in intercultural things, in interreligion. The, the experiences that we have been able to have as a society why, yes, of course I want my kids to live there. Of course I want to have 15 kids to have the opportunity to see this. I will not have 15 kids, but anyway. Uh, um, I think we have to tell our youth to be faithful, to have faith. Um, well, me as a Catholic, we usually take Virgin Mary as an example of, of faith. Because when, when he asked, two minutes, when the wine, you know, water to wine, it was water. And he said, no turn it into wine, and that's an example of faith when things do not look like they should. Give me one more minute. The exposure to substance prevention messages is very important. It seems like it's not, but when you combine it with the, with the knowledge, when they know there is a risk, then it's very important. So we have to keep on doing that as educational um, activities. Communication. Um, doesn't end in verbal dialogue. It starts there, but it's completed with love. This is Munir. Be firm with the objective. This is St. John Baptist of La Salle. But be soft on the way to get it. We have to take attention into each person. Like, well, the good shepherd. And what he says is know each person in order to get to their heart. You have to listen to the kid. There is no... Um, program that you will be able to make and uh, like irreversible and tell every single kid no drugs no you have to go meet the kid meet the youth and tell them you with your special situation you are able to not get into drugs but you have to the the term that they use is touch the heart in, in order to be able to get there Exposure to diversity, this gives us tolerance and gives them tolerance. And this is a key factor. I think if our youth was, very, was tolerant to themselves, they would not need any substance. Exposure to all, to all our society. Um, what we do at the La Salle University is we take them to missions. Missions are our students going for at least three weeks out of the year into the Sierra Tarahumara, where is where the indigenous people of Chihuahua live. They sleep at the schools, no sleeping bags. They eat what they owe for them, which is usually beans and tortillas, and they leave a week in there. And I think they get exposed to big situations and big problems, and their problems become much smaller. And they, they um, think of more transcendent things than themselves. And this takes us to solidarity. And I don't remember what I was going to tell you about my grandma, but anyway. Uh, okay. An important set of a transcendent life, Mom. This is very important. If you use Jesus, if you use, uh, no matter who you use, uh, how do you? Uh, it is very important for our youth to have a model of life. It is very important for us to tell them, life is not easy, but people have done it well, and you can do it too.
talking about the things that uh, could be uh, allowed, others that are not allowed. Look, coming from Mediterranean country and also having been brought uh, up in France, since the age of 12 in a boarding, in a boarding school, in all boarding schools in, in France, at least at my time, we were having one uh, glass of wine since the age of 12 at uh, lunchtime and one at dinner. That was all my life. Even today, I drink about uh, half a bottle of wine uh, every day. Now, the Mediterranean countries for thousands of years have been brought up with wine, vineyards everywhere. Then the Christians in all Mediterranean countries, it's part of, of the communion. It has nothing to do with the drug. It's absolutely ridiculous, I would say, uh, to think of wine as alcohol. It's not the same thing. When we say alcohol in the Mediterranean countries, well, we mean, we mean uh, for instance, whiskey. We need the uh, hard alcohol. Wine is not alcohol. Well, I think it was, uh, you, you're looking at me like I know. 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 And wine. That's one thing. Second, if we can take into account thousands of years of tradition. Now, if marijuana, uh, you can put it. Let you say, why not accept it? Do it legal. I don't know if there is hundreds of years of tradition of uh, using marijuana um, and. Uh, is the is it proven that it doesn't harm really? Is it it isn't it too recent? Uh, the uh, the experience we have of it, uh, the analysis we have of it. So I'm I'm a little bit uh, skeptical of what you said and think it's it's even dangerous uh, to say that we should accept now about cigarette. There's no question about it. It's a very strong drug and that. Uh, it has been proven, and you're completely right. So, what is your, because now I'm coming to marijuana, I, I was very much disturbed with what you said, that it should be legalized. I'm not, I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't expect immediate uh, agreement on that issue, and I wish that I had time to uh, the The article that in Texas Monthly is, I think it's 5,800 words, which is a long article and it's about a third of the length that I originally wrote it. Uh, I think I have given a, a you might not agree with, with, with my argument, but um, marijuana is not a new drug. It's been used for 5,000 years. Um, and repeated scientific uh, analysis of this by the Institute of Medicine, by all sorts of uh, scientific uh, organizations have seen that marijuana used in, 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 in moderation <coughs> Excuse me. That marijuana used in moderation is 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 not particularly harmful. It can have it can help the the combat. Ten percent of the people, approximately, can get into trouble with marijuana, and that that can be a lot of people, and the trouble can be <coughs> pretty serious. But in fact, many people, many productive people, do use marijuana on at least an occasional basis without causing difficulty with them with it. We're asking about now. You just hear on the news sometimes. Killer marijuana, 10, 20, 30 times more. This is killer marijuana. No one has ever died. I mean, the, 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 the number of people who died from. Hmm? Does the marijuana <coughs> give you, changes your attitude? It can change your attitude while you're, while you're using it. But you, you're going to jump on this. Okay. All right. All By right. the way, just let me go back to the first question. Um, we talk about wine and spirits, beer and wine and spirits, but wine is alcohol. It can have, that's right, it's 11%. I'm convinced 
advancing a lot of research into one simple picture right now.